Now to California, which was the first U.S. state to legalize marijuana for medical use in the 1990s. It sparked the so-called Green Rush, which has seen states across the U.S. decriminalize cannabis. But the industry says it's being held back by high taxes and tough regulation to the extent that the illegal cannabis trade is still far bigger. Our correspondent Sophie Long has been to California's Central Valley to speak to some of the industry's pioneers, a group of nuns. The The Sisters of the Valley, a self-proclaimed enclave of nuns, are blessing their cannabis plants, which might be wise, given that they're growing illegally and could technically be seized at any time, despite the fact they're in the heart of California, where recreational use has been allowed for more than five years. The sheriffs know that they've just let me do this. But there's really no reason for them to let me. They could have shut me down by now just because it's illegal to grow hemp in this county. But I think they know that we'll just challenge the law and get a change then in the county. So they'd be in for a fight. They produce and sell their own hemp-based medicines and salves, a business that before the pandemic was grossing $1.2 million a year. It's now half that. Selling through dispensaries might help them rebuild, but the complex and confusing regulations prevent them from doing that. Those operating such stores sympathize. Dealing with the tax rates as well as having the overhead that you know black market dealers don't have to deal with, rent, insurance, payroll, um, just basic stuff like internet, you know, those kind of things that we have to deal with every day. We can't write off um, and you know that all goes into the you know the, the, the end cost for the customer. Is this our jurisdiction? No? Those who once arrested people for what the sisters are doing now embrace it. So far this year, the state has received nearly $580 million in revenue from cannabis sales. They believe support for legal businesses would result in more revenue that would help their efforts to eradicate the illegal trade. I think it's a kind of a a two-prong approach. Number one, we need to make it a little bit easier for those folks that are doing it lawfully. I mean, they've been over backwards, and if we can get we get some some revenue, some some assistance, not only from the state, but maybe from the feds, to go after those folks that are doing it illegally. If you if you stop the illegal grows, the illegal operations a little more, I think the the, the lawful business community will pick up more. I mean, it's going to be a balancing act. That would benefit growers like the Sisters of the Valley. The truth is, I'd love for them to permit us because that would be a win, and because we believe in paying taxes. It takes a long time. Um, it's not an easy. It's not an easy world. And if it were to happen, it could open the road for the sisters' business and others like it to flourish to their full potential. Sophie Long, BBC News, The Central Valley.